guys. I hope everybody's in the live now. I think there needs to be more people so I can give you guys the juice. Okay. Then I have a little work to do before I get glam so that I can go to the Sacramento Kings game tonight with my husband sitting courtside like a boss ass bitch. Yeah. So where should we start? Should we go back to 2022? That's what we're going to start in 2022. So here's the tea. 2022, right? Um, you know, like work had just took off at Zeus Network. And I had been, you know, on the road a lot. And so Jacob and I, we both were in a great agreement that we were going to take a little break and just, you know, still co-parent and be here at home and still be able to like we're best friends Jacob and I are best friends so ain't nobody lying around here ain't nobody not keeping it a buck I'm too much of a boss that was 2022 that's when those videos that surfaced today those little videos from 2020 so cute I love those videos matter of fact ugh, I wish his clout chasing ass nothing but the best I really do so here's what I do want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, it is a thing when you decide to let people into your world. It is a thing to realize that motherfuckers don't have your best interest. And motherfuckers are crazy, okay? So... Let's fast forward to January this year, 2024. <laughs> 2024. 2024. Okay. Um, first of all, let's just all be bro. Everybody already knew <laughs> Curtis was around. Hasn't been around for a while. Okay. Hasn't been around. As a matter of fact, I really don't want to say too many bad things about Curtis because that's just not in my spirit. It's just not in my spirit. But what I will address and what I am going to talk about is the fact that you've been trying to extort me since January. Okay. You have been text mess. You have text messaged me to send you gifts. Your birthday just passed. You have been text messaging me to give you money. You have been telling me that I need to send you a Rolly since Jacob posted his new Rolex watch that I bought him. And I don't fuck with you, nigga. You're not my man. We don't go together. We don't go together. We, you were a thing. Okay? A bitch cut you off. Me. How I make sure that you got a motherfucking bed to sleep on and a motherfucker want to extort you and expo expose. It's not. Uh, expose. Let's talk about it. Jacob's in the house. Let's talk about it. 22. Nigga, you're not my man. You pulled up to Miami during Batty's Caribbean auditions and I had to sun your ass because you just showed up to a fucking club unannounced trying to be all in my motherfucking face. The whole place was like everybody, all the baddies, everybody. Natalie, Curtis is over there. Curtis, like, what are you doing? Bro, I'm not fucking with you. I told you to take your ass back to Albany and stay to fucking Albany. You call, ask for groceries. Bitch, I send you some motherfucking money. You call and ask me for some shit. Your family got this going on. Your mama got this going on. I always made sure that you was cool, you was good. Like, nigga, I'm not fucking with you like that. You are playing a nasty game. So then let's check this out. I get a phone call yesterday, right? I get a phone call yesterday from motherfucking No Jumper. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want, want some tea? Y'all want to lay it out? Let's lay it the fuck out. I'm shopping, having a ball, spent $30,000 in the Chanel store, nigga. Ain't worried about you, nigga. I'm up in the Chanel store. I get a phone call from No Jumper. Hey, yeah, um, we got this guy. He's trying to do an interview up here tomorrow. He's from Bad Boys. He's talking about he wants to, uh, he wants to expose you and his relationship. Like, nah, what, like, how, what you want? I was like, wait, what? You, I said, do the interview. Do the interview. Please, do the interview. I don't give a fuck. Because guess what? Jacob and I 
already had this conversation. That's what you don't re- fail. That's what you fail to realize. The conversation was had. You're not doing anything. You were a thing for a little while while I was on a break with my husband while we were doing a great job co-parenting, an amazing job. And guess what? That was a long time ago. So you want to extort me. You want to go up to no jumper. You want all these blogs to run a story about you. You're a bitch ass nigga. Nobody in this industry is fucking with you. I can promise you that. They were about to pull your interview. Good luck today. Have a ball at your interview. I'm going to tell it all now. So it don't matter. Your interview, nobody cares. This is what clout chasing on 100 looks like. Nobody cares. Your rap game ain't going to do shit. You ain't shit. You don't got shit. The only thing you had was Natalie. And when I cut you the fuck off, now you want to give me money, buy me a Rolex, do this, this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Go run and tell whatever the fuck you want to tell. You ain't, you not extorting me, bitch. What kind of a hoe ass nigga are you anyways? Talking to a female like, oh yeah, you need to buy me a Rolex and you need to, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. I ain't buying you shit. The fuck we talking about? Let's talk about it. You wanted to be Jacob. You're never going to be Jacob. And that's the thing. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. That's what the fuck you need to do. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. Let's talk about it. You want me to be a boss ass bitch? The real boss ass bitch that I am? I wasn't sending him the money because guess what? I wasn't getting him a watch because guess why? Because he a hoe ass nigga. You ain't getting shit. You got a bed. I sent you a bed. Would you like to see the receipts and the couch? Would you like to see what? Do y'all want to know? Y'all, y'all want that? You want to see? Let's talk about it. How you wake up every day and text Natalie Nunn that you're going to extort me while you sleeping on the bed that I got you sitting on the couch. Like, nigga, you're a joke. I helped you out. You and everybody around you. For you to be a hoe ass nigga and get on the internet and do all of this is insane. Sextortion and extra, it's all a real thing. And I, if you think that I'm not rich enough to lawyer the fuck up, you're delusional. And any little OnlyFans check you think you're going to take because you signed up for OnlyFans, any little check you think you're going to, nigga, I'm garnishing all your wages. Every last one of them. All these fucking tech, you threatening me if I don't do this and I don't give you that, you're going to extort. Nigga, go, t- I tell it. I'm telling it. Would you like me to tell all of it? <laughs> Would you like me to tell all of it? Because I don't got a problem. I'll tell it all. At this point, bitch, when I'm on a whole break with my husband and we're doing an amazing job co-parenting and I just don't feel like it's uh, important enough for me to tell the whole world my business because we're on a break. We're back. We're about to be courtside tonight at the Kings game. Kings versus the Bulls. $10,000 seats. (laughs) Curtis, you were never going to be Jacob. You were never going to be Jacob. Talking about send me a Rolex because Jacob got a Jacob gets a new Rolex every other fucking month. It's Christmas every day for 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 Jacob. None of you guys are going to be Jacob. None. Of, okay, it could be a break again tomorrow. I don't know. I just I need a break. Um, I need a break. Give me my space for a minute. Give me a break. I took a break. It's okay. Thirteen years in marriage. I took a break. So I took a break. I don't know what I was in. Jeez. Cause it's more, it's, it's more called convenient. It was a convenient situation. Okay. And then <clears throat> convenience. Now you want some clout. Ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't that great. So don't even, I get it. it, it leave it alone. Right. Or do you want to keep going? I, Cause we could keep going. I don't give a fuck at this point. You're not about to extort me. You're not about to tell me if I don't buy you a Rolex or if I don't give you some money that you're about to go tell everybody. Tell them. I'm telling them. I have 40,000 people in my life right now. I'm the clout, nigga. I'll tell it. And you might want to move a little careful now because motherfuckers don't like niggas like that. You were trying to extort me is insane. And I said, nigga, I don't give a fuck what you go and do or who you go. Matter of fact, I told No Jumper to continue to have your interview today. Please go do his interview. Let him tell whatever the fuck he want to say. I hope you ain't lying, nigga. I hope you don't come with no fucking lies. And my lawyer will be there at No Jumper today 
to serve you with the extortion shit you're doing and sex extortion shit you're trying to do. And you have no story because the story is, is I was on a break. <laughs> I was on a break. Co-parenting at its best. Co-parenting at its best. 2022, 2023. We're in 2024. You pulled up to Miami. You were acting insane. You showed up. You thought that I was going to let you come stay in my hotel room. I didn't. Okay. My security, Leo, had to nicely tell you, Natalie, is you, you can't come here to the hotel. You try you you know that you know places that I like to stay. So you pulled up to the one hotel. You pulled up over to the to the fountain blue. You were look you were everywhere looking for me. I get it. But I'm not the one you want to be looking for. I told you to leave me the fuck alone. I told you to leave me the fuck alone. You don't want to leave me alone. You're continuously you're popping up to my I told you do not come to Miami. You kept texting me saying I'm about to come to Miami today. I know you're going to be there for that. I said I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. Leave me alone. That's what I said. You came anyways. You showed up anyways. You have threatened me that if I don't give you a Rolex or if I don't give you money or if I don't send you gifts that you're going to tell everybody. That is against the law. And you know what I said? I don't give a fuck what you say because I'm going to tell it. Stop fucking with me, bro. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm dead ass serious. Leave me alone. You keep on playing games. I'm not playing your game anymore. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care, Jacob. We're here. We're going to the game tonight. We don't get we don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I was on a break. I was I was taking a break. Break is over. Leave me alone. Go back to your house. Wherever the fuck you go. Leave me alone. You're not. You're not. You're now going and you're sending the videos around. Ooh, I can't. Oh, God. And send it all. Go. Can't wait for the Lord. I can't. I'm, I'm so happy for you. The clap that you're. I'm so happy for you. You're getting all the attention you wanted. You wanted everyone to know that we were a thing. You wanted everyone to know. It was like in your. It was like your. It was like your goal in life. It was. It was your goal. <laughs> so happy you're living your I'm so happy you're living your dreams. But I won't be sending you any money. And I'm not sending you a Rolex. Matter of fact, today I might go buy Jacob another one. I mean, we just he did just he did just I did just go crazy up in the Chanel Fendi and uh and uh Hermes for us the other day. I get it, man. Moral of the story, ladies. Watch out for these men. Ladies. <laughs> ladies. Moral of the story is ladies. Let me talk to my ladies. I'm trying to tell you. I can't even take a break in peace. Like a break in peace. Motherfucker want to go and try to extort you. Motherfucker want to go and try to uh, expose you. For some clout. Because you ain't got no money from it. I didn't send you a dime from it. I didn't. Because you're not about to play with me. Now, when you used to say, oh, I need help. I need some growth. I said, oh, all day. I, Jacob, I sent Curtis money for groceries. Jacob, I sent him a bed to sleep. I actually also gave him a thousand. I gave him some money for the rent over there in Albany. It was like a thousand dollars. Don't even worry about it. We, we don't care. You're a joke. You're playing a dumb game. And you lost. You lost. <laughs> You lost. And all you want is some fucking money. And all you want is some fucking clout. Your music is not going to do shit. It's not. This was the worst thing to do. It was the worst thing to do. 100%. And we don't care. How you take a break, right? How you think you finna play with me? And, and try to go and... Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to make someone else leak this to make it look like... No. <laughs> Low London just texted me and said, I want to be Jacob so bad. I don't get it. It's like, y'all want to be in my, in my marriage so fucking bad. It's insane. It's insane. Y'all want to, so I'm telling y'all, I can take a break in my life, in my everyday life, if I feel like it. Jacob's happy. I'm happy. We're fine. We took a break. 
I'm sure Jacob got some baddies too. <laughs> Who knows? Jeez, leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> like, what? Y'all be in the comments like, so is it an open marriage? Are they like, y'all are so nosy. Damn. A break. Okay, cool. Now you want to threaten me that if I don't buy you a watch, you're not getting a watch. You're not getting a watch from, you're not getting shit. You got a bed and a couch and some fucking grocery money, nigga. Chunk change. You're delusional. You're fucking crazy. Dead ass. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. It didn't work. Then I get a call from No Jumper and you want to keep playing. Do the interview. Go. Go up to No Jumper. Go. Go. Please hurry. Go. I'm going to tell the story before you are. You think you for the one up on me? You think you for the... I already got the call yesterday. I got the call. I got the call. Because motherfuckers respect me in this industry. Nat, this nigga Curtis is about to come up. Go! Please! Go! I don't care. I don't care. Because when you a real ass bitch, I ain't keeping shit from Jacob. I ain't keeping shit from him. So since you guys want to be so much in my shit, like so much, so crazy, like you guys, like, it's like, bro, we were on a break and some days it could be next month. I might want to take worry about your own marriage, worry about your own shit y'all got going on. Okay. But we are right now in the house, happily together. Everything's great. And we will be tonight courtside at the basketball game. Should we should get a lot of cute pictures and kissy videos. We'll do all that. Stop worrying about the next bitch. Leave me alone. And yo, you hoe ass bitch ass nigga, keep my name out your fucking mouth. Leave me the fuck alone. Like dead ass. Leave me alone. The trying to do whatever you're trying to do is not going to work. This is not a breaking story. No one cares. Everybody knew about Curtis. Jacob and I had plenty of conversations. We were on a break. Me and my husband were on a break. Now what, Curtis? What, what story do you have now? You have no groceries? Mm, you need me to send you a catch up. What do you need? Oh, you need something from Amiri to look cool in your music video? Oh, poor thing. What do you need? Mommy's not doing well. Mm, oh, poor guy. What should we do? Driving around in your little bucket, got no gas. Oh, let me help you. Let me send you a little bit of gas money. Nigga, what? <laughs> what? Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> but what else? What, what? Would you like me to go on and on and on and on and on? Because we don't really have to go into the receipts of it all. But since your point, what do you want to do? What? Leave me alone. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay? Okay, because Jacob doesn't care. No, you want that. No one cares. You're not that important. Didn't do anything. Eh, try again. Leave me alone. <laughs> like in real life. I'm tired of the bullshit and the shenanigans. Okay. When I feel like taking breaks, I take breaks. I take breaks from work. I take breaks from baddies, friends sometimes get on my nerves. I take a break. When me and Jacob, we take breaks. We take breaks. We take breaks. Okay. And then we come back. We come back. And it's so much better. After you take a break, when things are just like, ah, take a break, you come back. Ah, oh, it's like, heaven on earth I'm telling you gotta do what makes you happy in life you gotta do what you know makes you you know just take a break it's okay it's okay guys the internet doesn't need to be too much in shambles okay leave me alone stop popping up places stop being weird stop texting me send you gifts i did though let you know yesterday because I forgot it was your birthday. So, guys, let's all do Batty Batty Shot O'Clock for Curtis. It was his birthday, I think, two weeks ago or something. I missed it. It slipped my mind. <laughs> it slipped my mind. But he did turn, I think it was 30 years old. 
Oh, if anybody shot a clock. It was Curtis's birthday. And I know he was probably really upset because I didn't text. I didn't call. Didn't send him a gift. So yesterday while I was shopping in San Francisco, I sent him a nice gift to his house. And I can't wait for him to get it. I really can't wait. I really can. Mm -hmm. That shot was for you, Curtis. Happy belated birthday. I'm so sorry that I've been booked and busy and I haven't been able to get to you to tell you happy belated birthday. But I do see that you have a flyer on your um on your page and I have a party coming up. Okay. Might be able to pop in. I might be able to pop in and maybe Jacob and I could come and we'll sing happy birthday and we'll bring you a cake. Oh my God. I think that's what we should do. I love that idea. Honest to God. And I actually was going to, me and Jacob were going to pull up to your interview today too. And we were going to join your interview just to make sure that you, not, and not trying to intimidate, just to make sure that you don't say any lies because you're known to lie. You're known to be a liar. And um, we were going to come. We were going to come and join you. I don't jump for me. And, I swear we were going to come. I even texted you that and told you, hey, I think Jacob and I might come join you for your interview today. And we could talk about some things, right? Hey, you know. Hey, I mean, I'm here for it. I think that would be a great interview. I mean, Jacob, he, he's the type of nigga that says less, you know? That's a real nigga. That's why I'm with, you know, that's why I, I stay and hold down. I'm with a real one, okay? Because I like niggas that say less. Don't be being weird. Why are you being weird to me? It's crazy, you know? And I'm I'm trying to be nice. I, there's so much more I could be saying, but I'm, I'm, I promise you, stop playing with me stop playing with me okay so yeah we took that break and then i came back home oh, I, we, I was still coming home you know and um we were on a break and i know a lot of people so i know a lot of people like say oh open marriage and stuff like that breaks i like to call them breaks I'm taking a break but still co-parenting and still together I don't know. I mean, there's who's putting a title to things. It's like that's what was. That's what works. Okay. <laughs> so leave me alone, cause I'm not fucking with you no more. Like don't don't like popping up to Miami, texting me to buy you a Rolex, telling me I have to give you money or you're gonna tell everybody. It's crazy, because I don't give a fuck who you tell. The only person that matters is Jacob and Journey. They already know. And they don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. They don't care. We don't care. So trying to extort me is not, is not you could have just easily asked me nicely. Hey, Nat, I, I, I'm, it's a little hard out here right now. Do you think you could send me some money? And I'd be like, sure. Like I always have. <laughs> like I've been doing. Here. I do it for everybody. All my friends. Everybody. Like, sure. I don't mind extorting me is insane like delusional do you understand fucking crazy you don't tell somebody if you don't give me money or if you don't give me i'm going to leak this of you i'm going to leak it go sure anything else oh i got something else i actually want to talk about too another motherfucker that keep playing Another motherfucker that keeps playing. Oh, I got the tea today. Another motherfucker that keeps playing. I'm, I, cause I'm telling you right now. <clears throat> I'm really a boss ass bitch. And when you're a real rich boss ass bitch, I'm not one you want to cross. I'd be real cool. I'd be real sweet, and I'm extra friendly. I love to give. I give to a lot of people. I do a lot of shit for a lot of motherfuckers. Everybody. The motherfuckers know. Oh, Natalie, she, she really has a real kind heart. Ask Natalie. Natalie will do Natalie. Nat Stop playing with me. I'm telling you now. Stop playing with me. <laughs> okay? Stop playing with me. 
Yeah. Stop. I'm telling you to stop. My lawyers will tell you to stop too. And that's the route I would like to go. You know what I mean? But I do encourage, <laughs> I do encourage everyone to speak their mind and to speak their, it's all of that. But you're not about to tell me if I don't give you money or I don't give you a Rolex watch that you're going to tell, that's not going to sit well with me. Now you got me fucked up. You know who else you got fucked up? <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> what a plot twist, huh, guys? We might need to get the cameras rolling around here. This might be the show. That's the plot twist. Do you know who you got fucked up the most? Everybody. Because what? Y'all, no, like, let's be real, for real, for real. What? Like, a bitch takes a, a quick little ooh, wah, ooh, 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 break here. And motherfuckers like, oh, yeah. Man, I got, man, man. Like, you're not going to be Jacob. I had to say that to you about 100 million motherfucking times. You're not, you're not Jacob. But for the simple fact that when I gave Jacob that new Rolex, like, what, a couple months ago, you started texting me that you, you text me and said, you text me after the fact and said, send me my Rolex and send me some money or I'm telling everybody. That is extortion. Do you not? And then sextortion, any type of sexual anything, you're going around. To podcast. You're going around to podcast. To try to sell. A story about me and you. Mind you. Everybody you're going to. Is contacting me. You're literally going to have an interview today. At No Jumper. To talk about me. Because I didn't give you the money. Or the Rolex. Nigga go. Ho ass bitch ass. Fucking ho ass nigga. Weird ass nigga. Go run and tell it all. I'm telling it first. Ha. <laughs> I'm telling it first. You wasn't shit. You wasn't going to be shit. You're not my nigga. You're not Jacob Payne. We don't give a fuck. We over here laughing at you. And we think this is a fucking joke. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Got to watch out for these little break niggas, huh? Take a little break and it's... Jeez. Ladies. Ladies. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, you need to be listening to this too. You could have played your position so much better... Your birthday gift could have came a couple weeks late. Who cares? You're not Jacob. <laughs> like, what? No, for real. What? You really tried it. You thought on your 30th birthday, I was going to send you a Rolex. I was going to send you some money. You thought you was going to keep getting money out of me. I don't got time for the weird shit. I promise you on my fucking life. I don't got time for the weird shit. Don't start coming over here around Natalie Nunn and being weird. Don't do it. You take a break. I took a break from, from we're on co-parent, co-parenting at its best too. I think we do. We do great. I mean, I'm on the road working a lot. So I take my breaks. Hey, listen, I need, I, I got to take a break. Everybody texts me saying NDA. I'm not, I don't need these niggas to sign no NDAs. All my friends, NDA, fuck these niggas, NDAs. Nope. Nope. Don't care. If you're a real ass nigga, you shouldn't be, it shouldn't be no NDAs and, oh, extortion. You, nigga, I don't give a fuck, bro. What is we talking about? What? You're over there broke still and I'm sitting on millions in multiple bank accounts. Millions of dollars in multiple bank accounts. If multiple. I bank with everybody. Millions. Let's talk about it. You think I give a fuck? You think I'm playing... You're not playing, you playing a real, you played the wrong game. You, your chess move literally had you lose the game. You lost. My cannabis bank, I got a cannabis bank account. Making millions off cannabis, the number one cannabis female right now. Can't even keep the shit on the shelves. My cannabis. What? Stop playing.
playing with me, bro. You were better off just shutting the fuck up. Hey, now I need some groceries. <laughs> 500. Hey, Nat, you know, gas is high right. Because I'm just a nice person. That's why. I, 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 literally, I'm just a nice person all the time. <clears throat> I low-key, I felt for Curtis for a little bit. I was like, man, you know, I want to make sure. I don't like, I don't like, I'm just not that type of person. I like everyone around me to do good and be successful and eat and win. And But now you're being weird. And now you're trying to tell me I have to give you something. I don't have to give you shit. I don't have to give you nothing. I don't. I was nice. I was being nice when I even did anything for you in the first place. So now you're turning around after all the nice things I've done for you. Everything that I did for you. You're turning around and you're trying to go to No Jumper today. I still encourage you to go. I encourage everyone to speak whatever. They, say whatever you want. Don't lie. Don't lie on me now. I ain't gonna, we ain't going to tell no lies. Let's keep it real. So if you're going to lie, that's when I'm going to have a bigger problem. My first problem while I'm live right now is the extortion. That's my first problem. Trying to extort me. Trying to tell me I have to buy you a Rolex and give you money. That's my first fucking problem. My second problem is, is you thought by the, the even if it's kissing, sex storting, pictures around, giving, selling, whatever you're trying to do with these pictures. I don't, we don't care. Ha <laughs> ha, he lose. Ha <laughs> ha, we don't care. Jacob already knew because I'm a, I'm a real ass bitch. We took a break and I already told them. I, well, we was on a, yeah, Curtis name keeps coming up. Yeah, Curtis is, I've been hanging out with Curtis. It's already a thing. It's, nobody cares. We're grown around here. The only difference is, is I don't want to go public and just tell my business. I'm not that bitch. I'm not any of these little young girls. I'm not getting on the internet every other day doing all that. I'm not. Okay? I've been married 13 years. And it's great. It's going great. Everybody has their own things. You know what I'm saying? Some people like to... You know, do other things. Some people like to go do this. Some people like to go. Do, some marriages, they do this. Some marriages, they do that. Stop worrying about what everybody's doing in their marriages. and what, Worry about yourselves. Right? Right. So now you guys got the answer for that time being. Curtis. Curtis, you were never going to be Jacob. I know you're watching the live. You were never going to be Jacob. But. I'm going to be nice. But you're a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let you live. <laughs> anyway, so um, shout out to the Kings. Go Kings tonight. We'll be courtside. My husband and I will be courtside at the Kings basketball game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you guys little kissy videos in my store. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And and I love going out with Jacob. He's so much fun. We always have a ball together. Whoops. Okay. So much fun. But I did also want to stress the fact that, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone in the world is ever trying to extort you, right? That to me is like terrorist threat. Okay? I, I'm not I don't do well when people try to, you know, that's like that's terrorist threat behavior, right? So, if anyone out there is ever trying to extort you, sextortion you, all those things, please make sure you speak up. Make sure you speak up. Make sure everybody knows and, and don't feel like you have to give in. Don't feel like you have to pay these people some ransom money or you have to give them a Rolex. Or, don't, don't, don't. You don't have to do none of that. You don't. Okay? You can always, you, you can always um, lawyer up which I'm doing, lawyer up, you can always um, speak your truth, you know, I had already spoke my truth to the person that mattered, so it didn't really matter, but I decided because I am a public figure, I'd speak with you guys about this, and um, you know, and that's just where we're at with it, that's it, that's all, um, really there's no more tea here, we're gonna give Curtis one more birthday shot, because I think truly what's bothering him the most was he didn't get his watch, he didn't get his money, I hope he's eating right now. I mean, we could we could start a GoFund for him. I hope he's got some food. I did he get a birthday cake. I didn't. I don't know. Did y'all? Do you guys follow him? I don't. <laughs> I I don't. But I I'm wondering like, you know, because all of a sudden it's like a week or two or whatever after his birthday, and all of this is happening, and it's like, Curtis, I do want you to know 
I'm so happy that you made it to 30 years old. Happy belated birthday. Cheers. Okay. Um, I did send a gift to your house. I did. Right to your doorstep. You'll be getting a gift. I was shopping all day in San Francisco. Had a ball shopping. Meanwhile, every blog was calling me saying you were trying to extort. You were trying to sell a story all day. So didn't bother me at all. Continued to go about my day in peace shopping. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to know, you know, you, 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 you. Damn, brother. Damn. Cheers. Happy belated birthday. I mean, hey. You know? Jeez. Mm-hmm. So that was a baddie baddie shot clock for Curtis. Since he wants to be a baddie so bad. These guys are giving very zesty nowadays, huh? They're giving very sassy. <laughs> Shout out to the sassy boys out there. Woo! Getting a little sassy around here. I like it. I love it. So, anyways, guys, matter of fact, I wanted to um, turn the comments on. I hope everybody watched Bad vs. Wild yesterday on Zeus Network. It was up. I hope everybody is having a ball. You know, baddie, baddie, shot o'clock. Baddie, baddie, blunt o'clock. Baddie, baddie, Caribbean auditions. We are going to be on our way to the Caribbean. I might be taking another break. I don't know. So, but as long as I'm keeping it 100 that's all that ever matters. I'm always keeping a hundred around here in this household. So, um, hey everyone, sassy. We love sassy. They always boys are getting sassy around here. So, yes, I just really wanted, and then I opened it up because thank you. I'm gonna keep doing my big one. Hey, Queen of DC. That's right, sis. So. I mean, let's just be real. We can't, we're not going to keep on with the threats. And I want everybody out there to just stay on their shit and understand that motherfuckers is going to try to extort you. People will try to threaten you. People will try to blackmail you. People will do all kinds of stuff. We're not having that over here. You know what I'm saying? If you're a real ass bitch, <clears throat> I keep it real in this household. Ain't nothing ever not. My husband knows everything. All. So any of y'all want to say something, run and tell it. <laughs> run and tell it. Okay, and he tells me everything too. So I see y'all. I see you. Some of you celebrities in my niggas DM. I see you. <laughs> so I love it. And and listen, different things work for different people, different strokes for different folks. I understand it. I don't judge nobody. I'm not here to judge. But I do want to say, don't let motherfuckers play with you. Stop letting motherfuckers play with you. Now, this is a prime example of stop letting motherfuckers play with you, okay? Because it's getting, it's, it, purr, thank you, Roland Ray, it's getting crazy, it's getting crazy, and I just feel like y'all are forcing me, you guys are forcing me to have to like, you know, well, 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 exactly, exactly, Rick, I feel like you guys are forcing me to have to, you know, like this, if I'm going to sign up for a reality show in my house, well, shit, let me get paid for it. Zeus Network, set the cameras. Crazy in love with Natalie and Jacob. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Season one. Crazy in love with Natalie and Jacob goes crazy. Stop playing with me. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> like, What? Montana Fierce, what's up, all y'all? I love you guys. <clears throat> but what What if he does an interview? But what if he does an interview and other people into the conversation? I don't know. But this is the thing. I don't, at this point, guys, look. You're not going to lie on my name. You're not going to extort me. You're not. You're not going to tell me I have to give you money and give you a Rolex watch for me, for you not to go tell, I don't care. The only person I care about is this motherfucking household. My husband and my daughter. He, Jacob already knew. So I'm always 20 steps ahead of whoever fuck want to play with me. You want to play? Play. Let's go. That's why I say it all the time. I tell, I say it in these shows. You guys are, do you guys, does it go over your head? If I'm on a break in my marriage or we're co-parenting 
And you think you're going to go tell some shit about me that I already actually told my nigga. What do you think? You got one up on me? No, you just want some clout. You just want the whole world. Or, first of all, you want clout and you wanted some money. You ain't getting no money from me and you ain't getting a watch from me. Period, point, fucking blank. Now what? You want to go tell lies? You want to go? That's what I said. Whatever you do, if you go on that interview, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Jacob is right here. Jacob's, they, Jacob came downstairs. When the shit hit the blogs, Jacob and I woke up. We had a conversation. He's like, what the problem is, is extorting. That's the, does no one understand that? Extorting somebody. Trying to tell somebody they have to give them money. And telling some, a man, first of all, a grown ass man, that's crazy. <laughs> Nigga, what? My, my response to him last night, when I found out that he was no jumper people, I text that bitch ass, hoe ass nigga and said, get a job. Get a job, go rap, get on OnlyFans, go do something, go make yourself some money. That's what I said. I, I don't want to start exposing my text, me more text messages and more text messages, but nigga, get a job for real. Stop playing with me, bro. I helped you out long enough. I was very nice. I was very generous. I'm a nice person. I actually don't deserve this. I did a lot of nice things for Curtis just because I felt bad for so long. I was like, damn, man, man, like, I want to make sure, damn, he ain't got no fun. Are the lights on the bill? Is the heat on? It's cold out there in New York. Are you good? Like, I felt bad for a long time just trying to help people out and be nice. This is, this is what, this is Hollywood. You see? Take, 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 take. And the minute a motherfucker cut you off or a minute a motherfucker won't fuck with you no more, then all of a sudden it's, let me expose you. Let me get some clout. This clout is going to last for less than 15 minutes, my nigga. Less than, and I made sure it lasted for only two by coming here right now and doing exactly this. Your clout? Isn't going to get you nowhere. You're not getting a record deal. You're not getting none of that. Matter of fact, I'm going to get one before you. I got five motherfucking record labels right now ready to sign. So I'm going to get one before you're going to get one. You fucking weird ass nigga. You're being weird. You're, you're, that was the dumb, like, what? Get me a watch. A watch? Yo. I can't make this shit up. I'm, 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 I can't. Get me a watch and send me some money. Or I'm going to get, I'm going to tell everybody. Or I'm going to tell. My lawyers are about to have so much fun with this. And matter of fact, it's still his birthday. I feel like we. Playboy, I'm so sorry I didn't call you on your birthday. <laughs> I was like, you know, I've been busy. I've been real busy. I've been busy. I'm sorry. Hmm. You're gonna cry about it. <laughs> you wanted a Rolex. Oh my god. You should see Jacob's collection though. That shit's stupid upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be Jacob so bad. Bro, calm down. Relax. Relax, bro. For real, calm the fuck down. You didn't took it too far. Like, you took it too far. You took it too far. A $30,000 watch? That is crazy. I mean, what's crazy is I spent that in Chanel like two days ago. That That is crazy. Tonight's basketball game's courtside too. About 20. That's crazy. I mean, I could have got you a watch. I ain't getting you shit, nigga. Patty, patty, shot a clock. The fuck going on around here? What is we talking about? I'm so happy everyone tuned in to Bad vs. Wild yesterday. And I'm so happy that everyone is watching Baddies Caribbean auditions. We are right now casting. If I show, if I move the camera over here, you would see a whiteboard that I'm not prepared for you guys to see with names on it and all of that. But again, Baddies Caribbean, we're outside. There's really nothing else to talk about. I was on a break. I could, I, I, it, I'm entitled to take breaks. I'm entitled to do what me and Jacob do in our marriage. And y'all don't need to be... 
y'all don't need to be. No, it's not. It's the. It's the. Talk about white or not. It's the. Y'all not about to play with me today. Not about to play with me. Um, someone said white around her mouth. No, there's nothing around her mouth. It's the camera. So, and I just love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Maybe we need to um, crazy in love, Natalie and Jacob edition. I don't know. Because at this point, it seems like you guys are just really caught up. Y'all are really caught up in my life and world. And I just, I've never given you guys the Natalie show. Because <clears throat> I feel like there's just no price on that. You know, I do what I want. And then at times, like if Jacob and I want to take a break, we take a break. Jacob took a break last summer. Let's talk about it. <laughs> baby, you want a break? Okay, you can take a break, baby. You're going to be back, though. I mean, we ain't going nowhere. Like, ain't nobody going nowhere. You need a break? I'm going to give him a break. I need a break. He going to give me a break. Leave us the fuck alone. Okay, so now y'all got, now y'all got, no, it's not an open marriage. Ain't nobody going to come forward and say, Natalie and Jacob, we're, we're swingers or we fuck to, no, it's not, okay. I mean, I don't know. Should we try it? How many of y'all out there are swingers? Let's talk about it. I don't, I love, I'm not judging anybody. I don't judge nobody's situations. There's swingers, there's people who are in multiple relationships in their marriage there's all kinds of shit but it works over here what we got going on works so don't be alarmed today we're courtside and the whole arena is talking <laughs> Brittany thinks it's funny because Brittany's ass see the swingers have entered the room <laughs> but I'm saying though like leave me alone I'm just living Natalie Nunn's life living the dream we're living the dream and that's it. And whatever works, works for us. And that's it. Well, I don't know why. This, so maybe I need a, podca a podcast. Me and Jacob have talked about a podcast before. A couple's podcast. I mean, we could build one in the house. Fuck it. It's 2024, right, Ignacio? <laughs> First of all, we didn't been together since 20, 2011. 2010, 2011. Married since 2012. Okay? 12 years. If I need a fucking break, I'm going to take a fucking break. See, that's the thing. A lot of y'all motherfuckers think all this shit traditional or to this. And no, 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 no. I'm going to still be Natalie Nunn and I encourage Jacob to be Jacob Payne. And neither one of us have changed for either one of us. I'm going to accept Jacob for Jacob and he is 100% going to accept Natalie for Natalie. Ain't nobody finna convert to being the fuck I look like. Y'all be mad. I be outside hosting parties. You're married. You're twerking. Yes, I'm twerking. I'm twerking. Oh my God, I'm twerking. Ah! Right? That's the problem with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all so worried about what the next motherfucker's doing and how they're living. And we are living great. I promise you, we are living great. And I encourage you guys to do the same. I encourage you to be real with your man. I encourage your nigga, your man, if he's watching, because that's what I get every other day. Man, I'm watching baddies lately, man. I followed you because my girl got me watching the show. Okay, you're watching the show because y'all love baddies. Period. Get it. All y'all niggas love baddies. You're watching the show. And I encourage you that if you're watching my live to let your bitch be who she is. And I encourage your man, you ladies, to let your man be who he is. And that's what we do around here. The fuck? Y'all are so like, it's it's like backwards. And I get it because I be traveling everywhere. I be traveling everywhere and middle America and all these places I go, upstate here, down here, in the south. Guys, 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 it's 2024. Let's, let's cut it out. Like, for real. Let's cut it out. Jacob is my best friend. Jacob is the only one. I know a lot of these niggas want to be Jacob. I, I, I mean, they say it all the time. They tell me all the time. I run into motherfuckers all the time. No, oh, Jacob, man. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I encourage you guys to let your men be the men. Who I mean, who they are. Like, whoever they are. Like, some people aren't that person. Or 
I like to go outside with my girlfriends and the baddies, and I like to twerk on the thing. I'm like, yeah, baddie, baddie, shot a clock. You're a mother. You should be at home. A break in 2020. It's like, <laughs> stop, bro. Cut it the fuck out. For real. Stop. So anyways, let's round it up so we can get up out of here. We're going to get up out of here. I'm done. So this is what I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Cheers to Curtis. One more shot. Happy belated birthday. I am so, so sorry I missed your birthday. I really am. And unfortunately, I'm not sending you a Rolex. And unfortunately, you're not getting any money out of me. Any more money. You know, groceries, lights, rent. Sorry, get out. Okay. Um, and leave me the fuck alone. Stop pulling up where I am. I told you multiple times, don't come. You want to be weird. I get it. I'm trying, to, trying to hold on to your lifeline. No. Okay. We're past that. Done a lot of nice things for a lot of nice people. I mean, for a lot of people. <coughs> and I feel like... <clears throat> My fuck is just taking advantage of me now, trying to extort me, and I'm not playing. So, on that note, I am going to get into glam today, because I'm about to slay this courtside tonight. Oh, can't wait to put on my outfit. Matching Chanel sneakers with my husband. We bought those a couple days ago at Chanel. It's cute. Can't wait. We're going to be matching and cute. And I know you guys probably think this is fake and me just be. It's not. It's not. Moral of the story so that everybody, when you go to your offices today or you go to your jobs and everybody wants to go down the blogs and see the pictures of me and C Curtis and Natalie are not a thing. Okay? Natalie was on a break with her husband and Curtis was convenient. Convenient. And I felt bad multiple times. Just to help the kid out. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. So where I fall to, where I fail to realize is that when you do nice things for certain people, they will come back in and they will bite you in the ass. Okay? Because motherfuckers... When you give somebody anything, a certain lifestyle, or give them a gift, like, they want more. So you have to be very careful. And, unfortunately, I'm not putting anybody in an NDA. I don't have no time for no gag orders. I don't give a fuck. You run and start talking about me? Cool. Bet. Everything I, are you about to say, I, I don't always come live and tell it. But I'm telling it today because you're playing what the reason I, I because you started with the extortion that's what I didn't like you started with the extortion and that wasn't cool you're not gonna extort me for a Rolex I buy I spend I spend more money I the jeweler at this point the jeweler at this point it's it I don't even get fake this is straight out the Cartier store okay I don't like at this point the jewelry is straight out the stores okay I don't you wanted a thirty thousand dollar watch for you not to talk, I could have gave you that. I don't give a fuck. Say whatever the fuck you want to say. You wanted some money? Bro, I could have gave you that too. But you're not going to tell me you're going to give me this or that or I'm going to... No, you're not. I'm not happening. You could have got a, maybe a birthday gift though. I mean, you did turn 30. I could have sent you a little 30, like a little, little 30 pack. 30? Bow. Coulda. It went over my head. Your birthday was like a week ago. It went over my head. Whew. Not even thinking about you. So, okay. We took a break. Jacob and I took a break. We take them sometimes. You know, we take breaks sometimes. I encourage you guys to do that too. Just take a break. Like a breather. Like, give me a break. It's okay. No separate houses. Come home and still get in home dick. Mm -hmm. That's my husband. Yeah, all that. And keep it real. At least in your house. At least it, it with your nigga. Keep it real. So anyways, y'all. I think the blogs thought they had a story today, but you don't got a story. The story is niggas is trying to extort bad, rich bitches out here. That's the story. 
happy birthday, Curtis. The maids just got here. Journey's up. And it's breakfast time at my house. Um, good luck with everything that you do with your music career and anything else. And I think all of everybody in here wishes you nothing but the best, too. But that chest move didn't work. Honey! <laughs> Jenny! Glam time. See you in a minute, Britt. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, shot a clock. I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to Zeus. Um, thank you guys for watching Batty Batty, uh, Batty Caribbean last night. The auditions, Bad versus Wild, went crazy. Can't wait for the next part. And um, tune in to Zeus Network. I love you guys. And make sure any oh 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 I can't how would I ever forget? We have a distribution deal that just went out with the cannabis. So Batty Batty. Blunt's Natalie Nunn cannabis will be everywhere. So every um, dispensary in America, you can now um, get my cannabis. I'm so happy for everybody. Sign my distribution deal. I'm super excited. So thank you, guys. I love you. <laughs> See you later. Bye.